Might be my favorite Airbnb so far. Really? Yeah. Not because of like the view or anything, but because of the layout. The this is like apartment dreams. Yeah, like this is apartment goals for sure. It's so it's such a vibe. It's my vibe. It's our vibe. This is so cute. Like the decor in here. The interior design, yeah, we love hard beds. The interior design is perfect. What? Old frames, I love that. Love those little stools. This is the type of TV stand I've been wanting. Uh, Retro. And then the kitchen, I love the floors. She just kept the old floors. Like, are you kidding? Oh my God, I don't want to eat out. Or if we eat out, can we just like inhale that food and come right back? <laughs> I'm still in all of, about that apartment, but now we're out. He's a, it's beautiful. It's one street down, we're at the Airbnb and we're at the restaurant. It's perfect. The difference between the plates, mine, Danny's. Mira, ya tú sabes, <laughs> el dominicano está aquí para comer, coño. I got tortellini, pana, cream, and prosciutto. Thin crust. Oh, yeah, always. It looks good, though. With anchovies? Mm hmm. Duh. All right, afogato, finally. I thought that afogato was just with any vanilla gelato. Like, it was, it's always vanilla or like a specific type of ice cream, which it technically it is, but I guess this place allows you to choose it. Who would want to put coffee in limone though? Like that's weird. So they probably thought the same thing too, but it was a head to each his own. Yeah. <laughs> then they asked me what gelato, and then I just said like white chocolate. I think that's what I said. But it's so good. How to piece it just like that? We're exhausted at this point. We we're super delusional last night. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Another trade, yay! <laughs> what do you mean? What I love is that they always have like the two options. They're like white and, and brown and nothing else. No splendors, no nothing. No artificial no artificial sweet. If <laughs> you want it. You don't like it? Getting me a fucking cream croissant. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> I just want a regular croissant. <laughs> I just want a regular one. <laughs> the tangy ones I was talking about in Tuscany. <laughs> Bro, we are so delusional right now. You said you're not tired, but. <laughs>
Okay, last Airbnb for my birthday. Mm -hmm. It is so adorable. I mean, gorgeous. And we have, oh my God, look at this, cause she got everything, a little tiny stove top. And Lake Como, kind of Lego Como with the freaking view of the mountains. And it doesn't even do it justice because right now like the, but maybe we'll get it tomorrow. Wow, and the lake is right there. It's gonna be raining tomorrow. And our Airbnb is up there, the very top. Looking for a place to eat and our Airbnb is right there. I'm tired of looking like this. Tired of it. Tired of having this sweater on. I will be a tourist, I don't care. Like, look at this. Day, but we're not gonna talk about that we're in Lego Italy and it's like by Como and it is fake again this is just another painting where I don't even believe it's so beautiful it's such a cute little town with the same exact thing that you see throughout Italy <laughs> shops and cafes and shops but this is another different view for the last part of our trip. Look at this. Did you show it all? The mountains are right here, right there. We're in the mountains. Imagine like a cabin here and for Christmas or something, or just a house. I don't think they have like cabins like that, but just one of those right there, not too high up. to go home <laughs> it's a weird feeling right yeah just tired of constant traveling yeah but i just want to settle in somewhere we can settle in here though yeah we can
think I've had a chance to actually talk about how we're in the Como area, but more specifically a town called Leco. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This Airbnb is like super small. It's in an apartment building. It's at the very top because we have a window that shows the view of the mountains on the ceiling. I'll show that in a second, but it was a really nice welcome because the the girl who owns it and is the host of the Airbnb was Hispanic. So we talked a little bit, talked a lot actually. She was super sweet. Um, and this town is so picturesque. It is that town, that village that you think of when you think of like super wholesome and you got the shops and the cafes, which is literally everywhere here in Europe, but it is so beautiful. But we had dinner last night um, and it was a little chilly. So we came back and then this morning we went to a cafe I had two macchiatos, doing macchiatos because I needed them. And today's my birthday. We're not going to talk about that because I don't like really talking about birthdays. I'm thankful for another year. And now let's move on. The lake, the views of the mountains is everything that I, <sighs> I wanted. And this was an uh, Airbnb that we got last minute. We changed it. And thankfully we did because this town is perfect. Everything's right there. So we just got some groceries, gonna make some eggs because they do not believe in eggs here. They don't do breakfast and I love it. You know, it's just a cafe croissant. Let's keep it moving. Um, so I'm gonna make some eggs and stuff and just chill and then probably go out at night again. But let me show you this view. Oh, and then we're gonna go to a butcher shop which is right downstairs to get some meat for pasta that I'm gonna make. I still have leftover pasta from the Amalfi Coast, so we're gonna cook dinner. And this, this apartment is so cozy, I don't wanna leave. But let me show you this view. So we sleep here. And last night we were able to see some stars. But look right here. Got a church right up there. Here forever. It might pass though. It was like a passing storm. Storms come in. Yeah, we did. We enjoyed the sun a little bit before. It's starting to pour those. Starting to rain. A little bit. Yeah. All right, let's get cozy. Rainy sun. Oh, they got bacon. What's up? What else is in here? Just the pasta, right? Yeah. I love that the Airbnbs here have cafeteras, not regular coffee makers, and they have espresso ready to go, right? It's just the culture that I believe in. <laughs>
It cleared up and is more beautiful than before. Yep, PBS. Cheers to 27. That's it. <laughs> Cheers, babe. Cheers. To me. To you. <laughs> Bliss. Bliss. Hi. Finally, I got that on video. That church. Cheers to you, too. We're blessed. I want to move here. <laughs> no, but seriously, this place is perfect. And the real estate here is like 10 times more affordable than it is in the States right now. What costs you here 180,000 euros to 200 is what costs you millions in the States. And I'm just like, oh, why? We're like contemplating life right now. Like, what have we been living? <laughs> what lie have we been living? Anyways, stay tuned for the podcast because we'll uh, explain it all there. Come, come with me. Follow me. But this is perfect. We booked this Airbnb last minute and this town has everything. The market, the bank, the restaurants, the town has the lake, the village, the mountains. It's everything and more. Last night in Italy, I'm going back home with a lot of thoughts i'm sad but i'm happy to be in different clothes but i'm very very sad for the most part how about that i thought she was jogging i'm like girl what you doing anyways we're already here ciao grazie mille grazie mille we got two bottles of wine she you better stay tuned you better tune in for that episode it's gonna be lit I'm so ghetto. I did. I don't think you belong here. <laughs> it's bittersweet because I feel like we could be nomads forever and continue this, going from city to city, country to country. I feel like we could continue forever, even with the exhaustion and all that. But we have to go back. Look at this. Right here. <laughs>